Hi, I'm Kathy Berry, registered dietitian with the Fountain of Health, and today I want to talk to you about a simple way to lose 10 pounds in a year. It's called the Rule of 100. The truth is, when you have 100 calories extra every day over the course of the year, you can potentially gain 10 pounds. The flip side of that is true in that if you take in 100 calories less every day over the course of the year, it can result in a 10 pound weight loss. So let's look at what 100 calories looks like. I have today 100 calories worth of potato chips. It's only 10 chips. I don't know about you, but I can eat a whole lot more than 10 chips. We also have 15 little tiny pretzels. I can eat a lot more than 15 little tiny pretzels. We've got five squares of Hershey's chocolate that we like to put on s'mores. We've got some jelly beans and we've got two Oreo cookies. I can eat two Oreo cookies really fast on the way to the copy machine. So these things are really easy to consume fast and they're very calorie dense. The other thing that gets us in trouble is their, their, their appetite drivers. They're high in sugar, they're high in refined carbohydrate, they bring our blood sugar up and then when our blood sugar comes right back down, we get hungry really fast and then it makes us crave more. So these things kind of get us in trouble. Now the other side of that is we have 100 calories worth of spinach. Look at the huge serving of spinach that is. We've got 100 calories worth of strawberries and nectarines and those are nice little sweet treats that can do a very nice job in the summertime of satisfying your sweet tooth. We've also got carrots and cherry tomatoes. So those are really big portions and as it turns out, they are not appetite drivers. They're high in fiber, they are high in water, and they are referred to sometimes as smart carbs because they satisfy us, they give us energy over the long haul because they don't spike our blood sugar. The other thing that they do is they provide a lot of volume. And as it turns out, we become full and satisfied by volume in our stomach not calories. We don't have a little ticker that goes off in our head that says, oh, you've had 500 calories, you're full now. It doesn't work that way. We become satisfied when we actually have volume in our belly. So when you're trying to trim calories this summer or this year, and you're trying to lose a few pounds, I would take a good honest look at your diet and think to yourself, do I put cream in my coffee? Do I have a Snickers bar every afternoon at 3 p.m.? Do I wander out in the kitchen and get myself a bowl of chocolate ice cream? maybe, before I go to bed. And if you are that person, I would really try to cut back on those things and at the same time, keep yourself satisfied and full with lots of fiber, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables because they fill you up and they satisfy you for a longer period of time. So that's your tip of the day. I'm Kathy Berry, registered dietitian with the Fountain of Health. For more healthy recipes, go to kcmo.gov, search for Time to Be Well, and visit our Facebook page.